Hi guys, my name is Kyle Simon. I'm the owner of Breakthrough Tutoring. Breakthrough Tutoring specializes in helping students with all levels of math as well as ACT test prep. And we're located in Cuyahoga Falls. So I wanted to jump online real quick and just look at a topic of solving equations. I know some of my math students seem to run into some barriers with this topic and I just wanted to go through just a few quick examples just in case anybody is having some difficulty. So the first equation we're going to take a look at here today is 3x plus 5 is equal to 20. And we're trying to solve this equation for our x variable here. So in order to solve for the x, the first thing we need to do is we need to subtract 5 on both sides. Since we're adding initially, we always want to do the opposite. So here on the left, the 5's will cancel. And all we'll have left is the 3x on the left. And 20 minus 5 will give us 15. Now when we look at the left here, 3x, that's basically 3 times x. So the opposite of multiplication is going to be division by 3. On the left, the 3's will cancel. We'll just be left with the x. And 15 divided by 3 will give us 5. So that's a pretty easy two-step equation. Let's take a look at another one. Let's say that we had 5x plus 2. That whole quantity is divided by 2, and we'll set that equal to 6. So again, if we're trying to solve for the x in this equation, the first thing we need to do is get rid of the division by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 2 on each side. So we'll see the 2's cancel out on the left, and all we'll be left with is the 5x plus 2. And on the right, 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. Next, we need to go ahead and get rid of the plus 2 simply by doing the opposite and subtracting. As you guys can see, I'm systematically working my way down the problem so that if I do run into any errors, I can go back and recheck. On the left here, the 2's will cancel out. We'll be left with the 5x. And 12 minus 2 is 10. Our last step is simply to divide by 5 on each side, and we're going to see that x is going to come out to equal 2. All right, and the final equation we're going to take a look at today is 2x plus 4 is equal to 3 times the quantity x minus 1. So in order to solve this piece, we're going to keep the left exactly as it is for the time being. And whenever you see a situation like this, this just means distribution. So we're going to multiply the 3 into each piece. So what we're going to get here is 3x minus 3. Next thing we're going to do is, this is the first equation where we had an x on both sides of the equal sign. So we're going to try to get our x's together. We're going to do that by subtracting 2x on each side. On the left, the 2x's cancel. We're just left with 4. And 3 minus 2 is 1. And whenever we have 1, we don't necessarily need to write it. It's assumed that it's in front of that x. And we have minus 3. The last thing to do here is simply to add 3 on both sides. When we do that, we'll cancel out here. And we're finally left with 7 is equal to x. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Again, math is all about working on your fundamentals and building up from arithmetic to order of operations to combining like terms, and then finally here to solving equations. So I hope that's helpful. If you are in need of any private tutoring, feel free to reach out to me at www.breakthroughtutoring.com. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.